My vision was to get these kids and their little personalities out. I saw each one of them as a very distinct character. They, they go through this little world, and Irene was, she really did a wonderful job just creating this beautiful, emotional little world. I had so much fun with the characters. There are seven kids in this seven teachings, and each name of the child is the Anishinaabe word for the animal that teaches that teaching. Every teaching of the seven teachings is taught by an animal that represents that teaching embodies that teaching to to all of us. So Makwa is the bear, Megisi is the eagle, e eagles teach love, Makwa teaches courage, Misabe is uh, honesty, the Sabe, the, the Sasquatch. And each one of the the children in these books, they just, they kind of impersonate that idea. I wanted something that was very not only child-centric, but like urban, set in an urban setting with an inner city school, with all inner city, like all inner city indigenous residents. That felt very important to me because I don't think that that's shown enough. And many of our kids are now in urban settings. They need to see themselves reflected in the books that they read. Most, many of these stories were inspired by conversations and stories I made up with kids in my classroom. A lot of the resources for the seven teachings are very, they're oral based and some of them are very abstract um, and they're very valuable for many reasons. But I found that a lot of, in teaching them, we were doing a lot of explaining and we were doing a lot of filling in the blanks and creating stories on our own. And those were the stories that inspired these books.